Brian Powell of Iron Far here with Roy Bazio before the 2013 UTMB. How are you doing, Roy? Great. You have been in Europe for a while. When did you come over? I have. Um, like mid end of July, I came over. Loving it over here. Trying uh, not to go back. I mean, I miss everybody at home. I love America, but this is pretty fabulous over here. <laughs> yeah, we're stuck in a little uh, room right now. But the yeah. view we had in Montblanc yeah. about two minutes ago. Was... Yeah, it's pretty nice, right? It'll do. Yeah, it'll do. Um, why did you uh, Why did you come over that, that early? Um, pretty much, it was a great excuse to take some time off work and explore the trails. I was fortunate enough to have things kind of work out that way, um, and I figured, you know, why not? Um, have you been in the Chamonix area the whole time? Or yeah, you mostly, them? mostly in the Chamonix area. A little bit in Switzerland. A little bit in Italy. You know, getting a little. Yeah, it's hard to leave Chamonix though. It's nice. All the trails right out your backyard. Yeah. It's pretty it's, sweet. You can go on the flying Saint Mont Blanc or if you're bored with that, you go over the other side and have the yeah. best views. Can't so. get bored here. So No, um did you I know a lot of people who are based in Europe end mm -hmm. up running a, a tour de Mont Blanc as mm -hmm. a training run. Did you do a, a multi day? I did circuit? um no, I kind of broke it up into different parts, but I didn't do all of it. I like to have some surprises, so I mean I get the gist of it. It's gonna be hard. <laughs> A little bit of, a little <laughs> of hiking in there. Um, but yeah, a little bit of hiking in there. But yeah. Good. Um, what parts have you left as a secret for yourself? Mm -hmm. Or a little surprise? Mm -hmm. Little surprises, you know, a little bit of stuff in Italy. I didn't do um, some of the. On the uh, Valfare side or down? Yeah, the there's there's probably about 40k I haven't done, but. Yeah, leave those leave those for a surprise. The Valfare uh, yeah. in the morning or yeah. the Saturday will be yeah. pretty fantastic. Yeah. It's all pretty. I mean, I was loving it, so I took some little shortcuts and did some other little, you know, didn't the exact course. No, but, no, but you get the feeling. You get the feeling. We go counterclockwise. As long as I'm going yes. in the right direction. <laughs> if you pass 2,000 people, you're going right? the wrong way. Are we going counterclockwise? Okay. We're going to reverse it every year, right? Right, right exactly. Um, you had a pretty solid run at Western States again. Uh, you were fifth this year, correct? Yeah, man, that was a suffer fest. <laughs> you you were out, out in the front know. there for a while, and uh, yeah. well, Joel was way off the front. And but, then uh, it was, uh, yeah, then I'm like, oh, man, I better behave myself on Earth, because if this is what hell is like, <laughs> <laughs> a little too hot for my liking. <laughs> that was the main problem, just... Yeah, man, sizzling. Oh, there were, yeah, I mean, yeah. That was like, it was a domino effect, I feel, or but, a snowball effect. Yeah, you, it started started off with the Yeah, the heat. once it wasn't so hot, I was loving it again, but the heat, man, I'm not designed for that. I'm not going to have to worry about that this weekend. Heck no, but it's looking nice. It's perfect. Yeah, it's looking uh, good. So. Looking for like a high of like 72 yeah. at, at the bottom of the mountain yeah, the next should be, two days. I'm looking forward to it. No rain. Low precipitation, yeah. I mean, it was nice running well last year, but I'm sure you would take the full course and good weather. I will take the full course and good weather. <laughs> that was kind of a, it seemed somewhat miserable in terms of... You know, actually, everybody complained and moaned about the race last year, but I really liked it, and I was almost ashamed to admit it, but it's like, everybody was like, oh, about that race, and I was like, God, I really had a lot of fun and really liked it. How did you have fun? I mean, like, I mean, I don't know. you have to have going out of mindset, because like, it was, yeah, it was a night I mean, for the entire run. you just knew you were going to be in the dark the whole time, yeah. but... I really liked the whole thing. I guess maybe how you feel on a certain day has a lot to do with it too. And I think always with a new experience, there's that freshness to it. So you're looking at it more of like in a childlike perspective than like, you know, a racer experience. So. Do you think you can still have that this year? I mean, you were at Mont Blanc, oh, you did totally. me last year, but you didn't do yeah. the, the course. Yeah, totally. Yeah. I'm really looking forward to it. I don't usually get excited for races, but I'm excited for that one. Um, on the other hand, uh, the race is wide open this year in terms of competition. You I know, mean, I don't look at that stuff. I'm like a little like, these races, it's the longer stuff, you know, everybody says run your own race, whatever, but uh, it is pretty true. I'd have to yeah. say, yeah. So you like consciously make an effort not to know what. Yeah, I mean it's not hard because I'm somewhat of a luddite. So I, I mean, I love ironfar.com though, but uh, I don't read any of the like pre-race stuff. Yeah. So, yeah. So gotcha. Yeah. Um. What other What other highlights have you been on this trip? I'm obviously like. 
you've had some good running, but what I've had some the European experience. The European it experience. It's so nice. It's like put your it's like Mecca for running over here. You know, I didn't even have maps for a while and I was like, I'll just put my pack on, bring a little food, bring a little money and go out for like you know, all day, explore. I ended up in Lake Contamine one day and there was a farmer's market going on. So I like sampled my way through and then some like French guy selling baguettes and cheese looked at me, he's like, you, you run? Runners, always so skinny, so skinny. He like hands me like a giant baguette and like a giant wedge of cheese. And I was like, you know, I could live over here. I like it. That's awesome. <laughs> Free cheese and bread in like the middle of your run. It was great. That's a pretty good yeah, experience. Yeah, I also got sandbagged by a Swiss dude, so that was a uh, nice. We're going on a five-hour run. Oh, we're on French time. It's really a nine-hour run. It just started two minutes, two hours late, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so yeah, there's been some good times. I like it over here. Yeah. Um, did you end up? There are a lot of the top runners have been over here for a couple weeks mm -hmm. and they've been running the course. Have you like had any serendipitous? Uh... I saw um, a Spaniard who I'm going who's going to remain nameless on the top of the Vermont, and uh, he had an intimidating glare. Uh, but I was too shy to go up and be like, "I know you. Hi, I'm a fan. <laughs> Sign my fan book." But yeah, I spotted a couple people out there. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Um, running your own race, mm -hmm. you got to experience the beginning of UTMB last year, the course. We're going through uh, San Gervais and they come to me. Mm -hmm. I don't even know we went through San Gervais last year, you know? I don't know. I didn't look at the course last year. So. Town, lots of people yelling and cheering. Like, oh, yeah. Thousands and thousands of people. Yeah. Were you able to control your energy? I mean... I think so. You definitely get a really good boost of um, energy when you go into the aid stations and everything, and everything's so vibrant and chaotic, and it's like just increases the adrenaline kind of, and which is good, mm -hmm. you know, because you can get those dips in energy where you're like, I need some something to boost me up here. So um, yeah, I like I like that that sense of the the chaos chaos the in the aid energy. station. Yeah, the frenetic energy. You draw people off that. Sh people shouting, and you're like, I like it. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Um, you've also experienced the aid stations over here. Uh -huh. At Western States, you know what they are? Like, it's right. very similar to other American you could, races. You could spend like 20 minutes in the buffet line at the aid stations here. It's like, your first course will be some cheese and salami, your second course will be a soup, and then we have some wine, and then it's like... Mm, you have to finish with the dark yeah, chocolate. Exactly. Like, the dark chocolate that's like... 90% cocoa, no sugar. <laughs> um, yeah, they're great. <laughs> so do you end up uh, doing like your, a normal, like a standard sports gel and juice thing? No. Or do you end up actually Oh, no, I the... eat, man. I eat like, man, practically my body worth in salami here last year. <laughs> it tasted really good. It was all salty. Um, yeah, so I, I eat it, try and eat. But, it's, you know, you never know what's going to taste good. So I Keep mix, it open mind. Yeah, and... I mix it up. So. Nice. Well, yeah. uh, best of luck out there this weekend. Thanks. Have fun. I, I really have to say that, do I? Yeah. No, <laughs> man. I'm like, can't wait. I'm really excited. Cool. All right. Hi. Bye. Bonjour. Au revoir. Au revoir.